Hey everyone, it is Havo High here bringing you a video on, on a Dragon Ball Super Broly the movie. And the topic of discussion for this video is how the heck is Broly this strong? And what was the causes and in a sense my predictions and my thoughts on how Broly is this incredibly powerful and what caused this immense force to be in a sense awakened here. So uh, if you are new to my channel of course like, subscribe, comment below but let's go ahead and discuss it. Now I just want to let everyone know while you're watching this video there might be some spoilers, possible spoilers. I'm going to be talking about theories. I'm talking about uh, also uh, correct information through the trailers as well and uh, and there might be definitely possible spoilers as we discuss. So if you don't want to have any theories or even any ideas, then you can you know, switch off now and come back and see if I was right when we when we go through this. So, so as we watch trailer three, the thing that stood out to me was base form Broly and how strong base form Broly is. And he took uh, Goku and God form and Vegeta and God form and look like they're nothing to to them so and for me trying to fathom that is was the most difficult part so so let's try to break that down and try to figure this out because that's that's the, really the premise of this but i'll also be talking about the, the later forms as well because we know vegeta threw a punch at broly at, in base form and he looked exactly like super vegeta punching perfect cell nothing happened but a smile and and then got punished afterwards so it's it's hardly trying to figure this out as okay we're talking about a base form saying versus a saying that one of the most powerful beings that we've known and we know that's around because of the tournament of power fighting this base form saying it's it's really unbelievable so let's really break down you know of course the characters and the different forms goku in this movie is going to have three forms could be four forms with ui but we have uh, base form then super saiyan then god and then super saiyan blue he might go, he might go kaioken he might go uh, ui as well but we know that those are the forms that goku is definitely going to be using throughout this movie vegeta god is is the new form that we're going to see here will he go uh, evolution we'll see that as well and of course it's broly here now one form that's not on here we have the that kind of rough break, uh, base form, but then he does get his armor, then he gets his uh, enlarged version, you know, full power version there, and then he also has a Super Saiyan version if he goes into that final form. So there is that final form on that end there, but there is a, a form in between those two. So with that, we are going to be focusing on this base form, this full power base form here, and then we'll t also talk about the final form later in this, in this video here. So let's go ahead and, and figure this out. All right, can we figure this out? So, in Battle of the Gods, just kind of giving you a quick history lesson here, Beerus took out Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Rage Vegeta, no problem. All right, We're using like, what, 10% or whatever it is. We we're trying to figure that out. Then, he was able to fight Super Saiyan God Goku at the time, and he used, what, 70%, whether he was lying or not, whatever that amount was. He ended up you know, going toe to toe with Super Saiyan God Goku. So Super Saiyan God Goku is a level of a God of Destruction or getting close to that level. And so we have to take that in consideration as we figure this out on base form Broly. So how powerful is Goku now comparable to Battle of the Gods? Because Battle of the Gods was a long time ago. Well, we know in the Tournament of Power that uh, he was able to fend off ridiculously overpowered universe six Saiyans in Kefla and Kale or Kale and Khalifla. So that's right there, pretty pretty impressive and powerful. So he was able to fend that off and he wasn't really at full power at that time either. But we know later in the episodes there that he could not handle when Kefla or when um, Khalifla and Kale merged into Kefla and was barely in a sense holding on. He had to go Super Saiyan Blue to then fight uh, base form Kefla, which then she went Super Saiyan uh, 2 on that end. So so we know this fact. So so the idea then is we know that Kefla is about equal or greater than Super Saiyan God. This was already a problem, right? This was, you know, it's going back into Determinative Power Series is how can a base form uh, two Saiyans 
<laughs> that are really, yeah, Universe 6 Saiyans are overpowered, they're OP, equal to a God of Destruction type of power in Goku, uh, in Super Saiyan God Goku, right? But this is where we're at. So given that information, we know then that Broly in base form manhandles Goku. Now, Goku's a little bit damaged already through this, so he goes God, he's a little bit damaged, so yeah, I would say he's equal to, in a sense, the Terminator of Power. So then we know, by figuring this out, he is um, a full power base form Broly is as strong as Kefla, or, or stronger. So, once again, put this into perspective. OP, overpowered, super, super uh, or sorry, overpowered Saiyans from Universe 6 merging together to be Kefla is not as strong or as strong as base form by himself Broly. Crazy, right? Crazy. Let's put it into more perspective back in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> back in Dragon Ball Z uh, uh, thoughts. So, two Saiyans coming together, we've seen that before, is in Vegito, which Vegito is stronger, or base form Vegito is stronger or as strong as as uh, Buhan, uh, which is, you know, a lot of people say it's the strongest Boo out there. So you're talking about now the most powerful thing in the universe was was Majin Buu kind of at the time besides, you know, God of Destruction uh, Beerus, but mortal-wise, this is crazy, right? <laughs> so he's as strong as Vegito base form, given this type of logic. So, yeah. So how is this possible? This is what I'm trying to figure out. And once again, if you guys have thoughts, comment below. But here's how I'm thinking and how this had to have happened. Because there's, uh, I'm just trying to figure it out. There's no other way. Is that, of course, we know through the trailer and the information that uh, Baby Broly had the most potential ever in... Uh, uh, in any Saiyan child, so that's why he was exiled and was, uh, and basically part of the movie is uh, uh, King Vegeta sending Baby Broly away, and then of course Paragus going to find him, and that's kind of how the how the movie is going to in a sense start. So we know that we know we're working with a canvas that is is stronger already potential wise than Vegeta and Goku. So how does he get this strong? Because Gogeta, uh, because um, because Goku and Vegeta has been battling gods, okay, <laughs> to, in a sense, get this strong. And I don't think that Broly battled gods. Uh, so there's a couple of things that you have to remember when it comes to Saiyans and Saiyan powers. One, uh, Vegeta says, oh man, he's learning as he fights. That is something that's very important in Dragon Ball Super in general. In, in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, there was definitely a sense of this, but not as extreme as we have it in Dragon Ball Super. And we see that, of course, back to the Battle of the Gods is when Goku fought Beerus, he loses his god form, but still keeps the power or the level of strength of a Super Saiyan god, right? That is a heck of an increase because so, now you're saying that base, not base form, but Super Saiyan 1 Goku was now at that point in time much stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku just because he experienced this and uh, was able to grasp this power and his body uh, adapted to it. So that's very, very powerful. That's an amazing power from Saiyans that it, it is able to do. On top of that, we know about Zenkai boost. And that's kind of going back into, uh, um, into uh, the, the Black Saga, the Goku Black Saga. We see that most prevalent is when he was to battle anybody stronger he would gain so much power and when he became rose even stronger and stronger and stronger it seemed like uh there was no limit to goku black's increase of strength you know finally of course they ended up merging and, and having some issues uh with with Murzumasu, but i think if he just stayed as as rose he would have just continued to get stronger and stronger and stronger and that's kind of where we're at with with Broly, all right. I think so. Here's my solution theory and uh, an answer to why or how did Broly get this strong? It's because of Frieza. So hear me out here. So Frieza ends up finding Broly. We kind of know in the movie, oh, uh, uh, exiled in this far off planet, 
and uh, I think he says, "Oh, great! There's a Saiyan that still thinks that hey, Frieza is the uh, is the ruler of the universe, things of that nature." So I think Frieza still holds true to Broly and his bidding. But I think Frieza trains Broly. This is the only way that I can even fathom how or why uh, Broly is this strong. Is I think. Frieza, and you can just kind of see here, they fight kind of in the end of the movie because, or toward the end of the movie, because you can see the background. That's that's like the end game fight there. But we know that they fight, but I think they also train uh, together. And Frieza ends up, you know, having full power Broly experience the power of Golden Frieza. Now, why is that important? Like I said before, much like when Beerus provided that power experience for um, Super Saiyan God Goku he was able to absorb that and experience the power of God and being able to tap into that much strength and that much power and adapt to it well Golden Frieza is as strong as Super Saiyan uh, God Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue Goku at this point in time so having a Frieza fight and have uh, Broly experience and get to that level makes sense but doing that at base level is pretty ridiculous right but once again if he fights long enough or experiences long enough this this will make sense to get this this get this much power so re of, of reason we would have to believe that base form Broly at this point in time is as strong or stronger than Golden Frieza yeah, wrap that around your brain. That's how powerful uh, this current Broly is. Now, you know, we still got to throw power levels aside because now it's just experience. It's absorption of, of power. And, and, and it kind of doesn't make sense, but that's Dragon Ball in general. And But trying to make sure that you wrap around, wrap this around your head uh, is tough. So just know, base form, Broly, as strong as Golden Frieza. That's what I think, and that's why I feel based on the evidence that we've seen so far in the trailer and all the information that we have. So, so where do we go from here? If base form uh, Broly is as strong as Golden Frieza, which is as strong as Super Saiyan Blue Goku, we see we see in the trailer that he is fighting Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and I would say going toe to toe, they're pretty even. But I think that Goku does have a little advantage I don't know if he goes Kaioken uh, or, or something of that nature but you'll see that he probably defeats or hurts Broly to this point where Broly goes okay let me go to the next form and that's uh, or so going back to this is Goku is probably as strong or a little bit stronger than base form Broly <laughs> so just once again keep keep looking at this yes Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Blue Goku, is as strong or as strong as base form. No Super Saiyan Blue, just base form Broly. Okay, pretty crazy. So Broly then goes, well, wait a minute, that's just me in general right now. Let me go Super Saiyan. Now, by the looks of you know when he goes Super Saiyan, he doesn't have the pupils, kind of going old school homage to the old Broly. But this also resembles Super Saiyan Rage trunks so he should be in a sense that level super saiyan rage trunks and uh at this point in time you would absolutely think that he is now stronger than super saiyan blue goku which once again is unfathomable so super saiyan rage broly stronger than blue goku Whew. keeps going guys keeps going so we also see a shot then when uh he's currently super saiyan and he's fighting goku and vegeta uh, which I love. I love the colors, you know, with the green and the blue. It's kind of like like uh, Star Wars and lightsabers, right? So uh, we have this shot where it's, it's Goku and uh, Vegeta coming together. So we know at this point in time, with the both of them fighting, they're stronger than Super Saiyan Broly. But <laughs> there's more. There's one more transformation, which once again, it's going to make this movie epic in epic proportions and that's when he goes final form or full power is what they're calling him now full power broly how the heck that's what goku's saying how the heck are we gonna stop him here we've 
we've done everything. We've took ourselves to the edge. And uh, this is kind of not a surprise of how strong this final form is because going back to Terminator of Power, we had evidence that Kale went into this form, this this uh, full power or rage berserker form. And, and if you don't remember this, Kale walked through a a Super Saiyan Blue Goku Kamehameha right into her face and walk through it and then grab Goku by the face here. That's how strong this form is. So we've seen it before, it's like ridiculous, but we've never seen it like this. Takahashi at his best, look at this, this homage to the old Broly as well, but looks absolutely incredible. But the power level, if, if base form KO couldn't even come close to the power of, of, uh, you know, of a Super Saiyan God. How powerful is this guy? <laughs> so, this guy here, let's throw out a spoiler alert. How are we going to beat Final Form Full Power Broly? Well, spoiler here, uh, people have said it multiple times. There's a uh, DLC, there's all this stuff that we know, everything's pointing to the formation of this guy here. Yes, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. This is fan art, by the way. This is not from the trailer or anime or anything of that nature. Someone made this. Looks looks great. Um, and we know that this is going to happen. The question is, is this going to be the final battle? Or is UI Goku going to come out? So and, and then defeat Broly there. So we don't know that, that piece there. Because we can probably imagine how quickly this battle is going to be. Because the amount of time that uh, the Fusion Dance has is... I would think less than Patara, and we know Patara did not last long when they became uh, Vegito Blue. So this is going to sell a lot of uh, toys, this is going to sell a lot of uh, Dokkan cards and things of that nature, so we know that this is probably going to be coming, but we just don't know if this, if that is going to defeat Broly. And that really is boggles the mind on how strong Broly is, based on the fact that yes, base form Broly is as strong as uh, as Golden Final uh, Golden Frieza and Super Saiyan Blue Goku, right? Base form. Now we're at this final form, full power. Who's gonna beat him? We'll see. Comment below. I have no idea. I'm hyped. You have to be hyped. The uh, premiere comes out next week, so we'll know even more. But it goes nationwide, or not nationwide, but nationwide in Japan on December 14th and then comes out globally in, in January so man anyway that was my breakdown and trying to explain to myself and maybe I'm right maybe I'm wrong to justify how strong Broly is I'd say it's based off of Frieza Frieza uh, provided him the experience and the absorption of that power so I don't know could be something else. Maybe he was. Maybe he did battle with a god. Maybe he did fight with Beerus, and we don't know about it. I don't know. Maybe he fought with Whis. I don't know, because Whis does show up in, in the movie. But anyway, with that, thank you guys for watching. That's the look that I had when I was trying to figure this out. Vegeta's <laughs> totally right here. Nani, what the heck? So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Later.